How strong is Jessica Jones? Let's see what holds up. Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones is my second favorite series that Marvel's done on Netflix, but that's not what makes her interesting. She was arguably Marvel's first R-rated character, and in some ways, it's darkest at the time. But her personality and her story aren't all that make her a superhero. Of course, she's got superpowers. In fact, she's a little like Marvel's Superman. She can fly and she has super strength, pretty standard powers. The more prevalent on her show on Netflix is her super strength. But just how strong is Jessica Jones? There are tons of instances we could look at, but to be honest, not all of them line up well. We're looking for an instance where she's using maximum strength, or at least where it looks like she is. Personally, I think this is a pretty good place to start. When Jessica breaks her cuffs here, we can see her face straining. Clearly, she's pushing her limit to break these handcuffs. This will give us a good incentive as to how strong she is. Alright, so how are we going to look at this? Well, taking into account that Jessica Jones operates in the New York City area, we can say that these are likely the standard American handcuffs. Standard American handcuffs are made out of chrome steel, which is, well, just what it sounds like. It's a combination of steel with chrome laced into it. Steel, as many of you know, is a super strong metal. To break it takes around 325,000 pounds of force. Now, of course, I'm not really giving a fair comparison here. So we know Jessica's putting about 325,000 pounds of force into her strength when she's pushing it, but how much is that compared to a normal human? Well, let's take a look at martial arts fighters. In fact, let's look at black belts in karate. The strongest punch from a black belt ever recorded was about 1,000 pounds of force. So if you were to get punched by Jessica Jones, and she was putting everything she had into that punch, it'd be like 1,000 of the strongest black belts in karate punching you all at the same time. For another comparison, Another YouTuber calculated what it would be like to be punched by Captain America from her standing position. He calculated that there would be about 9,100 pounds of force in that punch, which, in real life, is the equivalent of getting hit by a Ford traveling around 26 miles per hour. Jessica Jones vs. Captain America? I'd pay to see that. Hey guys, hope you all enjoyed watching the episode of Sentinel Hams Superheroes. There is more Defenders coming out this week. Next, I'm doing Luke Cage, and then the following day, which is the day that the Defenders comes out, there will be an Iron Fist video. So stay tuned for that, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. These are all probably going to be fairly short ones. The Iron Fist one might be a longer one like they usually are, but um, I, they are going to be fairly short ones. And that might be a reoccurring pattern, actually, with my channel, because I find that doing shorter ones tend to actually be videos that I like more as an end product. So we'll see where that goes. But let me know what you guys think about shorter videos. And I will see you guys tomorrow.